In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to print your AutoCAD drawing assignments to a PDF. PDF is an acronym for Portable Document Format. You should be familiar with these types of files as the standardized way most documents are shared electronically over the internet. In fact, the instructions for your drawing assignments, as well as the final deliverables, are in PDF format. PDFs are also how most completed architectural drawings are transmitted electronically in the workplace. All of your drawings for this course must be submitted in a PDF file format. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to print a single drawing to a single PDF, which will work for those drawing assignments that only include one drawing. Later in the tutorial, I will show you how to publish several drawings to one multi-page PDF. So let's jump in on how to do this. I'm assuming that you already have your drawing set up in your paper space or layout tab, on a title block at the correct scale. It's worth mentioning that printing a single drawing is exactly like printing a hard copy with a printer, only that instead of sending information to a printer and a piece of paper, you're sending that information to a file. I always open my print dialog by using the shortcut Control P. The first thing you want to do anytime you print is to look at the printer slash plotter drop down menu and make sure it is the device that you want to print to. In this case, we want to change the printer to AutoCAD PDF General Documentation. This PDF printer option should be available in all AutoCAD installations and will provide us with adequate settings for the types of drawings we are producing. Our title block is set up for use on an 11 by 17 landscape paper size. This is the next thing that you should check in your print dialog. Depending on your PDF printer, you may find that this paper size is also referred to as tabloid or ledger. In this case, the paper size is listed as ANSI Full Bleed B, which is yet another way of saying 11 by 17. So always make sure your paper size is set correctly. Whenever I make changes to my print dialog, I like to press the Apply to Layout button to save my edits. If I press OK, I will end up printing. I don't want to do that yet, so I press Apply to Layout so it saves any changes I've made. Another thing that I almost always do before I actually print is press the Preview button. This gives you a print preview of exactly what your drawing is going to look like. This allows you one last time to make sure things that you expect to print are actually printing and that they are not on layers that are set not to print. It's also a good time to check that your name, drawing title, and drawing number are all correct before you print. From here, you can hit the print button in the preview dialog, or you can close this and then hit OK on the main print dialog. Once you do that, a file explorer window will pop up asking you for a location and a name for your file. As always, please practice good file management and place your files in a folder on your OneDrive that you have set up for this course. You'll have to find this file later in order to upload it to the assignment submittal, and practicing good file management now will save you time later. Also make sure you name your file using the format according to the standard listed in the syllabus. For this particular drawing, it would be my last name, dash, first name, dash, module 2, dash, first floor plan. Depending upon how your computer is set up and what the default PDF program is, you may find that the PDF that you just printed is automatically opened. Here you can take a look at your printed output and make sure it's what you expected. Okay, so that covers how to print a single drawing or sheet to a single page PDF. What happens if we want to print multiple drawings to one PDF? Before I show you how to do that, we first have to spend some time setting up our drawing. I'm starting in the same drawing where I have my first floor plan already set up for printing in my layout tab. In order to print multiple drawings, first we need to create multiple layout tabs for each of those drawings. To do that, I come down to the Layout tab for my first floor plan and right-click it. Then select Move or Copy. Make sure the tab you want to copy is highlighted. 
Then click the Create a Copy checkbox to activate it. Click OK and you will see a second layout tab with the same name as the one I copied with the 2 at the end of the name. Now I can right click on this new tab and select Rename. Best practice when you create these tabs is to immediately name them properly. I like to name the tab the same as the drawing title, which in this case is Second Floor Plan. Now I switch to that Second Floor Plan tab by left clicking on it. This layout is an exact copy of the first floor plan. So what I need to do is edit my viewport so that I'm showing the second floor plan. What I'm going to do now is show you a trick that's really slick to get all your drawings to line up perfectly on different sheets. When I started drawing the second floor plan, I talked about placing it an exact distance vertically from the first floor plan. In my case, I placed it 75 feet above the first floor plan. So now when I activate my viewport by double clicking inside it, I can type the command dash P, which is the pan command, but with the option to enter a very specific displacement. So my first point I can pick anywhere in the drawing. I'm panning downwards, so I want to pick somewhere towards the top of my viewport. Now I move my mouse downwards while snapping to my vertical axis, and then simply type 75 feet. The view now pans that distance, and my second floor plan now occupies my viewport in the exact same location as the first floor plan. I can deactivate my view by double clicking outside of the viewport, and now I'm ready to update my title block information for the new sheet. By setting up multiple sheets or layout tabs, you can have several drawings ready to print at any time, rather than having to move around your viewport and change your drawing title every time you go to print a different drawing. This also enables you to publish multi-page PDFs, which I'll demonstrate right now. We cannot print multiple sheets from the print dialog, so what we need to do now is publish. You can do this from the big A menu, or simply type the command publish enter. This brings up the publish dialog. In the main window here, you can see that it's loaded all open drawings as well as all the layout tabs within those drawings. The layout tabs have the icon with the grid and the triangle, while the model tabs have the DWG drawing icon. Anything that shows up in this window will be printed. So what we want to do is remove the model tabs, or any tabs really, that we don't want in our final PDF. To do that, you click on the sheet name to select them, and press the little minus button to remove the sheet. You can also use the up and down buttons to reorder your sheets. This will be the order in which they are printed. Generally, you want them to be in order based upon their sheet number. Once you have the desired sheet set up and in order, we can check all the other settings. The Publish To drop-down should have PDF selected. The PDF preset should have the same preset we used when we set up our individual sheet, which in this case is the AutoCAD PDF general documentation. If this setting doesn't match your layout tab, you may get undesirable results, such as sheet rotation issues or some drawings being on the wrong paper size. Generally, I also uncheck the Publish in Background checkbox because it's not necessary. Now we can press the Publish button, and another File Explorer window will pop up asking you for a location and a name for your file. Again, please practice proper file management as I stated earlier in this tutorial. By default, AutoCAD will ask if you want to save the current list of sheets. Generally, I would suggest you do save them. That way, when you bring up the published dialog in the future, you won't have to go through the process of removing and ordering your sheets, and it'll save you some time. AutoCAD will now publish those sheets into one PDF. You will see a Plot and Publish Job Complete bubble. Generally, Publish Link does not automatically open your PDF, so you will have to go to the folder where you saved it and open it from there. I always suggest opening that PDF and taking a good look at it to see if it is indeed the output you intended before you upload it to your drawing assignment submission. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful.